A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. What have we got here? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There! Buckle up. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town. And the whole place went Great. insane! The radio's out! You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you.
Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Yeah. <laughs> 
You must be the new guy, Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been canceled. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here. Take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But Just go. Fine. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on.
Leon! It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I can't believe what is happening to this city.
some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Ada, wait!
Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going.
Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait!
No! Get! Get away! Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <coughs> ben. Uh, <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police, a co-conspirator. Get that scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Oh, my chest. It's burning. What's wrong? God, what was that? Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! Hey! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Thank you.
What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere, not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon, I know. Look, Ada, as an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right, we'll do this your way for now. Leon, that woman was... I have to talk to her.
don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you've finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha Team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! I'm stopping it! What is this thing? <laughs> Hurry! What, what is this thing? So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. Too bad.
Ada?
Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better.
Ada! Ada, can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it! Don't die on me, Ada. Come on! Wake up! Come on! Welcome back. Oh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But... I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But... Be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. <laughs>
You... You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G-Virus, didn't you? But you will never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Waiting for you, Leon. Wh what are you doing? You know what this is about, so just hand over the G virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right about everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. Shut up! You're gonna 
make it. It's too late, Leon. We both know it. No. I promised you that we would escape. You just have to help me out here. I really wanted to escape with you, Leon. Escape from everything. Goodbye. Ada! Detonation.
my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning.